Hey guys, you're back with Miracle Max. Welcome. Today I'm looking at a 2013 Holden Captiva with a 2.2 litre diesel in it. The diesel particulate filter, the DPF, has been removed because it was actually blocked. In fact, it was 200% blocked. It's been sent down to get cleaned and it's now returned to me, but I need to find out why it is actually blocked. Part of the process is checking what's called the uh, pressure differential sensor. Now that thing determines the pressure before the DPF and then after the DPF to make sure that there's no blockage in between. Now this sensor registers, it has a pipe going in one side, a pipe going in the other side and measures the differential between the two. There's a quick way to check this sensor that works along with your scan tool that's quite easy and it involves using, believe it or not, a coolant pressure tester. I'll show you. Don't know about you guys, but the brand that I have is a Repco uh, coolant pressure tester with this sort of um, attachment to it. And what I've done is pulled out this bleeder here, and I'm now going to attach that to my pressure differential sensor, and then I can pump up to whatever pressure I want and see if the scan tool will read the same measurement. That way it will prove the integrity of the sensor itself. All that I've done is remove the actual nipple assembly, I guess you could say, out of the top of one of these adapters. And here's my sensor, my um, pressure differential sensor. So I've got my coolant pressure tester hooked up to the larger of the two hoses in this particular case. So that comes up to my coolant pressure tester. What I'm going to do now is compare it to what the G-Scan says and make sure that the pressure that I read on my coolant pressure tester is comparable to what we see on the G-Scan. At the moment on the G-Scan you can see that we have zero kilopascals there. Now just notice what happens when I pump up my coolant pressure tester. We're going to go up to 0.5 here which should be about uh, 50 something kilopascals. So let's just pump it up and see how the G-Scan responds. 22. We'll just try and get it fairly close to that um, 0.5 mark. It can be a little bit difficult. There we go. So we're reading about 54 kilopascals and that's comparable to what my uh, coolant pressure tester is saying. I don't even have to check my 5 volt reference or my earth because I know that my, my uh, signal wire is responding correctly back at the ECU. In actual fact, the ECU is reading the information and processing that information correctly. So I'm not going to pretend that I came up with that idea all by myself. I saw it on YouTube. I just thought you guys might be interested in it just like I have been. So while there's still quite a bit of diagnosis to be done with this particular Captiva, I know that my pressure differential sensor is okay and that the ECU is recording that data correctly. I hope you enjoyed this very brief video guys. And if you did and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like and feel free to comment down below. Don't forget that notification bell for next time so you don't miss any future videos. So until next time guys, this is Miracle Max signing off. Catch you later.